with a snap back to quick throw. Going to throw almost a fade route, and it is caught inside of the five to the three to the two touchdown. What a great run after the catch by Terrence Scott. That's a very athletic move by him to make the catch. And then... I need the road with hurdles on it. Don't give me the road without hurdles because I wouldn't know what to do. I've been jumping hurdles my whole life. With me coming back and finishing my degree defines the man that I am and defines the character that I have. I have so much joy in my heart that he graduated. It was definitely something that we both worked hard at achieving. My experience is playing for the Oregon Ducks. It wasn't a perfect road when I was here. And here at Oregon, I had a good time my senior year. So he dropped Terrence Scott. Side it is caught out of bounds at the five. There's an out over the middle. time for me to figure out the type of man that I was. I was the sixth receiver on the depth chart. And I was a number one junior college transfer and I was six on the depth chart. You talking about a humbling experience, it really humbled me. Some of the expectations coming in our family was just graduating high school because statistically growing up without a father around, I should be in jail, I should be a problem child or my mother was on drugs, so I should be in, off into drugs, so I stay away from statistics. There were so many people that told me that I couldn't do it. And the prime example was my guidance counselor, who told me that I wasn't college material. She told me that I should go work on learning how to cut hair or something because a college classroom was too big and I just wouldn't get the, the um, attention that I needed with my, with my learning disability. Ended up linked up with my big brother through Big Brothers and Big Sisters program. Who we've been matched for 14 years now, I think so there was an expectation on that side of the fence that you know what, you can go to college and you will go to college. And I didn't let football define me. Because I think truthfully, the NFL could have never taken me as far as life experience is about to take me. And you know, he's still growing. You know, the man he is today, he's, it's not gonna be the man he is in five years or 10 years. I think he's only gonna grow to be a better man, a better father and a better supporter for our family. But your education, changes cycles, it breaks traditions. A kid that couldn't read or write at the age of third grade in resource classes when I was in the 10th grade, and I have the choice to think about going to get a master's degree, this is way bigger than football. This is way bigger than football. <laughs>